All right. Well, I know what you're thinking. What in the wide world of sports is he doing now? Well, I finally got my 29 millimeter uh, annular cutter. It's, well, I didn't say final, it's four days. Um, I like these, it's by Hogan. It, they're the Copperhead Carbide Annular Cutters. Dude, I'm telling you what, I've got one, I mean, most time when I'm drilling something, I'm drilling like half or three quarter AR. This is Hardox 450. I mean, and they just, they do their thing. Um, okay, so this is like Excalibur's blade or something crazy. Um, this is my 32 inch pull blade for my new vibratory plow. You see, I mean, it's not that much longer, right? <laughs> this is 15 inches from here to where it hit, it stops hitting the dirt. So this is 11 by 15 blade. Um, and this one is going to be a 32 inch blade. So the bullet set at about 32 inches. So I can plow in water line at 30 inches. I hope, I hope the machine does it. Um, so what I need to do, and actually I don't know if I really need to multi-drill this. So the bad thing is, is I probably need to drill this hole and this hole because I've got six inch centers. My thought was, is I would just drill through, I would drill through the blade and that would get me my centers. Now I can obviously hit this one by magnetizing the, I haven't magnetized it yet, but this is right in the center of that. My thought was, cause if you're off any at all on these, uh, the pins aren't going to fit right. I don't want a lot of slop. I don't have to waller it out to get them to fit. So my thought was, is I'd go in and I just barely cut into it and my two holes that I need. And I was going to multi-cut it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't need to multi-cut it. So I need to figure out, I wonder if I can put my, my mag drill on this piece here and I can just clamp it somewhere else but I could put my mag drill on that piece and drill this one, spin it around and maybe drill that one because it's pretty short. But if you know anything about mag drills, if this thing loses magnetism on the base, at least mine, it, it stops running. It won't let you run it unless you're magnetized to the base. Um, if it senses loss of magneti magnetivity, is that a word? Um, magnetism, maybe magnetism, that sounds correct. Um, if, it, if it sees the loss of magnetism, it shuts off. But my thought was, is I was going to take all this back apart, drill a hole and then drop the pin down through it to keep it centered and then jig it all back up. But if I put the drill right on the hard ox, it ought to be as parallel as we can get. Let's just do that. I want it to be right or as right as I can get it. So let's unmag the mag drill. We'll take the clamps off. And I'm just going to leave all the shims kind of where they are. Actually, I guess these we can move. We'll just move these directly over there in front of you guys. All right. And what I'll do is we'll just put We'll mag drill back in the hole where it was. There we go. I had to overcome the, uh, I had to overcome the plunger. All right, safety deal, coolant. You want to use coolant, this hard ox is hard stuff. Magnetized. Hope it didn't smoke that bit. Where'd the plug go? Oh, it's over there. Okay. 
Well, you may have watched somebody smoke a, a brand new bit. You may have watched somebody make a mag drill magnetize and not demagnetize. There it goes. What the heck? Do the pins line up with the other blade? We will see. Don't, don't, don't. Didn't like this serious music. Man, that cut right in my finger. That's not even good. Not even good. Woo! Woo! What's up? What's up? All right. I needed something to go good. And that went pretty good. Pin fell right in. I would think that if it falls right in the blade, it should fall right in the plow. But anyways, uh, well, I'm trying to do a few little short videos. I think you guys have a little something on you. Hang on. Had a lot of cooling on the camera. <laughs> Oops, I don't know where that came from. Um, I'm trying to do a lot of short little videos like this. I realize that it, the camera says 22 minutes. We'll probably time lapse some of this, but um, I'm trying to do some short videos instead of stretching out to these 27, 25, 30 minute videos, whatever. Um, it seems like you guys kind of want like some 12, 15, 18 minute videos. Um, those seem a little more popular than my than my 30 minute videos. So if you're interested at all, here's uh, making a blade. Now I may put some gussets, just some mild, mild steel on the sides of that just to kind of thicken it up. But um, this blade is almost as thick as, as this one altogether type of thing. Um, so I don't really think it's going to need it, but I might want to widen it out a little bit. So I'll probably, I've got plenty of, of uh, mild steel stuff. I may just do that and that would be easy enough to to mark it and drill through. And this doesn't necessarily have to be as precise as this. I can make these holes a little bigger and it's easier to uh, manipulate out. So I can just mark these, drill these, and then if I need to, I can clean them up with a die grinder before I put them on and weld them. They could be a little bit bigger than those pinholes, I would think. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did not trash my bit. The bit looked really good. I, I think I need a mag drill. 